It'll be worse than Mary Do Well, they said. Oh no, it's gonna be a throwaway episode, they said. It's gonna throw continuity out the window, they said. And you know what? I can't believe that I judged this episode before it even came out. Now I feel that my doubts concerning 28 pranks later has shown that the joke's on me. <laughs> this episode starts out with Fluttershy walking at night in the Everfree Forest. Am I the only one asking why she's even there in the first place? And I know that many complain that Rainbow Dash was uber insensitive to the fact that Fluttershy does not like to be scared out of her wits. And that's actually a valid point. She should have known better. We can't prank Fluttershy. I mean, she's so sensitive. It'll hurt her feelings. Yeah, you're right. Wait, does that mean that this episode threw continuity out the window? I think to the contrary. There are so many subtle connections and references that tie this episode with the show's past. And in light of recent events, this makes total sense. Let me explain. In the season 4 episode, Scaremaster, just look at Rainbow Dash's face. It is the face of sheer terror from Flutterbat. Is it possible that Dashie thought since Fluttershy scared her in the exact same manner, it would actually be okay to try to emulate that copycat scare tactic back on her? I'm not saying that this is acceptable, I'm just thinking from her perspective, not mine. And I do know that others may say, It still does not explain her sudden compulsion to resort to immature pranks, with utter disregard of other people's feelings. It must be out of character. There may be some truth to this, but you can't forget that Rainbow Dash is a newbie Wonderbolt. And they have, on multiple occasions, have pranked her and have teased her with total disregard to her feelings. So is it possible that recent Wonderbolt pranks on her has rekindled the need to pull off epic pranks on others? Look, I'm not trying to bring this up to justify her actions, only to explain why she thought her actions were justifiable. Well, at least in her mind. Maybe I'm giving myself a little bit too much credit here, but making connections like this are one of the reasons why I consider myself a top-notch brony analyst. <laughs> Oops, would you look at that? There goes my humility. Well, speaking of humility, this brings us to Fluttershy's intervention with Rainbow Dash and her friends. I believe Fluttershy, in this situation, was right to get her mutual friends involved because she tried to reason with Rainbow Dash by explaining the severe emotional distress her actions had on her. And yet Rainbow Dash showed little empathy and a complete disregard to her long-standing history of panic attacks. And this allows trusted friends to give non-biased feedback regarding the conflicts that cannot be resolved on their own. See? Every pony likes a good prank. They're just jokes. Just a joke? Are you kidding me? Only a maniac would shoot flaming arrows of death upon their friends and have the nerve to completely disregard criticism with the words, I was only joking. Sheesh, you can do better than that, Rainbow Dash. That way. <laughs> Classic. That was some harmless fun. But you know, I can do that too, and I don't even need a whoopee cushion. It seems the intervention only made her more bold in the attempt to pull off an even more elaborate prank. And the one on Rarity is really sweet and tasty if you ask me. Yet with Applejack, she decides to play dirty. It looks like one flew over the coop. <laughs> and I think these pranks are in good taste. Nobody was harmed, and there's no really hard feelings. Yet after that... Her pranks go downhill faster than Big Mac sliding down a hill. And that ain't pretty. The one on Cranky was simply rotten. And yet I feel so guilty laughing at that the hardest. <laughs> What's wrong with me? But since the small-scale pranks weren't cutting it, Rainbow Dash decides to put together a grand conspiracy which involves switching the real cookies with prank cookies using the Cutie Marker Crusader's cookie drive. 
Yet after eating an entire box of prank cookies, it looks as if Pinkie Pie might be tossing her cookies. Unless you've got more cookies! Yeah. So will Rainbow Dash reconsider going through with the prank? It appears not. You guys want some cookies? <laughs> I always thought the bear to be a big softy. <laughs> I sure was wrong about that. And with all of Ponyville buying in on these prank cookies, you'd think they'd be up in arms demanding a refund. And yet this isn't the case. I wonder why. So Rainbow goes out to investigate. Tommy! How's the peeping? Tommy? How's the peeping? Yeah, that snooping around is a little bit creepy. But where is every pony anyway? Wait. You don't think... Cookies are the only thing that makes me feel better. So what do you get when you combine Cookie Monster, Resident Evil Zombies, and My Little Pony? This. What happened to all of our friends? This episode had zombies. Freaking zombies. What do you think about that? Because I have very mixed emotions about this. The ending and moral of this episode sure does mirror the episode Mare Duel. However, in this case, it was Rainbow Dash that realized her actions were negatively affecting her friends, rather than being lectured that she was in the wrong. And I appreciate that. Oh, I see what you did there. And I especially liked the note that the episode ended on. You ponies pulled off an amazing prank! I'll have to work extra hard to top it! Gotcha. <laughs> so, do you think it was plausible that Rainbow Dash justified her prank against Fluttershy because it copied the Nightmare Night chase scene that was pulled on her? And that the childish antics were triggered by the Wonderbolts pulling pranks on her? So what do you think? And how similar is this episode with Mirror Duel? And I'd like to hear your thoughts on this episode. Send them down in the comment sections below, would you? I am the Hallelujah Brony. If you enjoyed what I had to offer today, then I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe for more. And maybe even show this video with others who might need another perspective into Rainbow Dash's sudden regressive shenanigans. Thanks for watching, and God bless.